welcome to my channel so for today's video i am going to be trying on some new products that i bought while i went and visited the west coast for like 10 days it was a really long vacation so i went to los angeles and las vegas and there's a lot of shopping over there and i went to a lot of cool places i went to kkw the morphe store that just opened koreatown so many cool places i got so many cool things so if you want to check out the haul i did upload it before this video so i will put it in the cards and link it down below definitely check it out but here i am trying to use them for the first time basically so I'm going to zoom into my face and let's get started I'm actually going to start off with my eyes because I want to do a look with glitter so I'm going to try and use as many of my new morphe brushes as possible I bought a crap ton okay so I'm gonna do a pink glitter cut crease look so i'm gonna use the lime crying venus xl palette i know this was released a while ago but i saw it in person and i was like this is insane i'm gonna start off with some of scalloped on my morphe m504 and i'm going to put that all over the crease you hear like screaming in the background my neighbors are in their pool all day every day there's really no quiet time of day for me to do this so it looks a lot lighter in the pan, but it's coming off pretty pink and really blend it out because I think I'm just going to use a wipe or something to clean it up. Honestly, I'm just going to go crazy and on a smaller brush, this is the Morphe E27. I'm going to take Flora, which is a crazy vibrant color, and I'm just going to pop this in my crease. Why not? I had plans to like wake up, work out, and then get filming immediately so I could get some nice pictures of my look. 7 o'clock p.m. <laughs> and tomorrow I start work. I just got back and I'm all jet lagged. Ooh, I really like this color. They're blending beautifully. I'm also going to take some of blank canvas. I'm just going to put that underneath my brow bone. This is just going to set the concealer. Okay, so to add some depth into this look, I'm going to take some of Trump on a MAC 217. I didn't buy this, but this is just near me. And I'm going to put this into my outer corner. Just add some depth. These colors are blending really beautifully. Oh my goodness, I love this palette. All right, so I got some new brushes to try and do a cut crease with. This is the Anastasia A18 brush. I'm just gonna take a random concealer and let's try it out. I'm gonna move the mirror close. I don't play around with cut creases. So sorry if I'm out of frame, gotta be close for this. This is kind of like a rough draft. I'm not a cut crease queen, okay? Right, but I'm gonna take the shade Goddess and I'm going to pat that right over the concealer. Okay, so to kind of sharpen the cut crease, I'm gonna take some Triumph on the M507 and I'm just gonna deepen where I cut. Don't judge this cut crease too much. I'm just playing around with new makeup. I don't really... I'm not trying to do like an intricate look right now, okay? Okay, so I will say the goddess color pulled a lot darker than I thought it was going to. But it's fine because I'm just gonna cover this with glitter anyways. So for now I'm putting the Venus palette to the side and I picked up the eye candy liquid sugar. I have no idea how to use this but we gonna try. And then I also got the eye candy glitter in double bubbles. So double bubble is like a really pretty pink pink glitter. So what do the directions say? Gently squeeze a small amount of liquid onto the lid. Dip your brush into the liquid sugar. Slide a long rim to excess liquid. Mm, okay sounds really complicated. You know what, I'm, it's said put it in the lid, but I'm actually gonna put it on my hand. The big zit on my cheek is really bothering me. And then I'm gonna put the glitter beside me. So I'm just gonna kinda mix the glitter. Wow, this is, no. Um, 
Guys, I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff, okay? I've never used it before. I think I just put too much on. That looked better, but it's peeling off my eyeshadow. I don't really like this right now, but it's totally, completely, 100% user error. So I have no idea how to use this. I'm gonna put some on my finger and like... <sighs> this looks so bad, okay. I'm gonna put more of the liquid sugar in this eye. I'm going to fear not people. And it's like ruining my cut crease. Um, I'm going to look up how to use this because whatever I did, it's not working. I think this thing is good to like mix pigments in and kind of make it a liquid eyeliner. But as a glitter glue, I don't get it. I really don't. I just made a mess and wasted a bunch of glitter, if anything. I messed up my cut crease. It's not even cut anymore because the liquid like took up the shadow. If this is your first time watching me. I'm actually a little better at makeup than it may seem. Once this gets cleaned up with some liner and lashes, it's gonna look fine, but just because I know how it was supposed to look, I'm like, this is so terrible. I'm wiping off the excess glitter with my shirt. Okay, so next I'm gonna take the Pat McGrath Primer Precision Liquid Eyeliner. This is just an eyeliner pen. I've used it before on my channel. I just picked a new one up while I was on vacation. It's amazing and I'm going to create a wing. It's just so dang black. Right, so anything not perfect about my liner is going to be hidden by lashes, so it's fine. It's fine. So let's go out and do my thing. I picked up a few foundations for this video. I am going to use the Dior Skin Forever Foundation. I got mine in the shade 025, and yeah, I haven't used it yet. I'm going to use the Morphe sponge as well, which I'm not crazy about. This is like a perfect match for me. This isn't like a newly released foundation or anything. It's been out for a while. I just have been wanting to try it. And so I used vacation as an excuse to pick it up. This foundation is beautiful. I'm into this. So I also went to the KKW pop-up shop when I was in Los Angeles and I waited in line for like an hour and a half, which apparently isn't that bad for how long people had been having to wait because I went on like the third day it was open. So I got the concealer in the shade number four and for the fourth shade, as you can see, this is very light. Um, I'm using the M536 brush from Morphe to blend it out. I haven't tried this brush yet. I do like this concealer though. I wore it for a couple days and not too drying, which I like. I hate drying concealer. That's why I don't like tart shape tape at all. I hate tart shape tape to be honest. I still think I prefer a sponge, but this did a good job of keeping the coverage though. I will say that. And then now I'm going to use the loose setting powder and then the brightening powder, though my under eyes are already hella bright. So I got the two brightening powders, or the setting powder and the brightening powder for shade number one. I'm gonna put some down here and warm the center of my face so my under eyes aren't like ridiculous looking. I don't like the packaging of this though because the powder is just like sitting on top of the sifter, so I have to keep this upright. And then I'm gonna take the brightening powder and this is what everybody was loving when this came out and it's nice, I like it. Just for some added brightness, you know? It's kind of redundant if you ask me, but it is nice. From the KKW store, I also picked up the contour stick in the shade light number two. It's not too deep of a color. I didn't want it to be too deep. I wanted it to be rather close to my skin tone so that I could blend it out and it'd be like a really natural. Then I'm using a Morphe stippling brush. I would tell you what brush it is, but 
the numbers are all like messed up it's an m50 something but it's like a really loose and long stippling brush and i just like to use these to blend out cream products and so that's just going to give my cheekbones a little bit of a lift because this foundation is matte i'm not going to set it because i do have dry skin i just learned that i've been able not to set my foundations i picked up the morphe brontor in the shade celebutant so let's give this a try i'm gonna take the bronzer side which is right here on a morphe y3 brush and bronze my face up this is pretty nice it's really light on my skin i usually go a little deeper with bronzers usually but this is actually very very nice it's not too warm it's almost a little too yellowy that's weird but it blended out very well so yeah that looks good and then i'm gonna sculpt my face using the contour side just a little bit though because i did use that kkw stick and i'm looking a little brown i went a little crazy and this is the y9 brush Ooh. I like that. I look chiseled. I'm gonna take a little bit of Cody Airspun powder and I'm just gonna clean up underneath because I am feeling like I look a bit too brown and this is just gonna fix that. Side note, this is the first time I'm using Cody Airspun. I bought it in Koreatown of all places. But I like it because it's so affordable. So doing things like this that require a lot of powder don't feel like I'm wasting product. Okay, so blush, I picked up the perfect palette from Morphe, the 8C palette. Beautiful. I'm gonna mix the shade It Girl with a little bit of hot, and I'm gonna put that on my cheek because I obviously am wearing a pink look, so some pink blush is gonna make this look really good. My opinion on the Morphe palette, I've used it a couple times, and I really like it. I love blush, so I, I mean, the colors blend very well. Might have put a little bit too much on, but... Okay, so for highlights, I picked up an Artist Couture highlight in the shade Illuminati. I'm so pumped about this. I'm very, very late on the bandwagon. Um, I've been eyeing it for forever, but I never wanted to spend like $27 on something I wasn't too sure about. And it's just like one highlighter versus like a whole palette, but so worth it, you guys. Um, this shade's a little too golden than what I would have wanted for this look but I just wanted to show you guys how amazing this highlighter is so it's fine and this is one of my favorite brushes I picked up the Y14 it's a perfect highlighting brush let's wipe this off I'm kind of wiping it off into my contour just to soften it a little bit I kind of just want to open my window tell them to shut up for like 30 more minutes. <laughs> All right, so we're going back into the Lime Crime palette. I'm going to run Goddess underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm picking up a little bit of Flora. And then finally some of Trump. I'm going to take a little bit of Ethereal, which is this light shimmery pink shade and that's what i'm going to use as my inner corner color um it's not as bright as i normally would like and i'm gonna take my sephora white liner as i always do and that's just bringing a lot of brightness into my look all right so really quickly i am going to apply some mascara and lashes and i'll be right back for the lips all right so we're on to the finishing touches of this look, the lip, I am going to use the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Dainty Days. I didn't pick up too much for lips, so I think this is probably the most appropriate one for this look that I have. It's basically just going to mute out my lips. So the formula of these lipsticks upon application, they're amazing. They're so smooth. I think they're such an amazing matte lipstick. I can see people who don't like matte lipsticks liking this however it does not last long i'm just warning you now you're going to have to keep reapplying this lipstick if you get it but it does feel lovely on the lips it's not going to dry your lips out but there's a price you have to pay for that and it wears so fast and then i'm using the butter gloss by nyx in fortune cookie 
These two are a great combo. And um, yeah, that's it. This is the look I created. It's a really pretty glittery cut crease. Not really a cut crease anymore. So this is makeup I wore in my last video, which was my haul. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys later.